there is an enemy in the garden. Today I'm going to do a small string of jobs. I need to work on the strawberry bed. I also need to fix the tail light in my truck. I got light bulbs last night on my way home from work. I have a whole list of jobs, so we'll see if I get to any others. So a few weeks ago I did this experiment and I worked all these grass clippings into the ground and I started a strawberry bed. A lot of folks were wondering in the comments whether this was going to be a disaster with all the grass growing up in the bed from the grass clippings I mixed in. So the answer is yes. If you mix a bunch of grass clippings into your garden soil, you will have grass seeds coming up. I've gone through and kind of cultivated the top of the soil here in this little bed. And then I'm gonna mulch all the strawberries and we'll see how it goes. I don't think this will be a disaster. What we're dealing with is really new seedlings and I really easily um, tore them all out of the ground just running my hand over the surface. What I'm doing now is actually filling in a few spots that where the deer ate the plants down to the ground or where they completely tore them out. Here's one of the plants that the deer ate down and just left its base and then I put in a new plant beside it. You know this one probably would have done okay. I'm not sure though I just wanted to make sure this bed is full next year. I have this nice thick band of mulch here. This is about six inches deep because there's a trench there. So I'm just gonna work it around these plants. All right, for better or worse, I've mulched around all of the strawberry plants with the wood chip mulch and we'll see how that grass does over the next couple weeks. I'm gonna to have to just stay on top of pulling the new grass seedlings as they come up. The grass seeds that are buried deep um, won't really have a chance to germinate and come up. So I think if I stay on top of it the next few weeks that we won't have too much grass in the strawberries. Grass and strawberries is a nightmare. Here's how it looks now. So I've never done this before. I've got to replace the light bulb in here. Um, I have my light bulbs. I have a screwdriver. So, here it goes. So, I think I need to undo this connection next. There's my bad bulb. Uh, looks like the right bulb. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, that's great. I'm happy. I was out here working in the yard. I looked down in the garden and there is an enemy in the garden. A little white moth is lurking around the cabbage. There it is. It's so fast. Mm. Got it. So what I caught is called an imported cabbage moth. Those moths can lay up to 200 eggs on your plants, hatching out into 200 worms, which can do really significant damage to your crops. The worms will destroy your cabbage and broccoli plants. Here it is. Your days of destruction are over. Some of our cabbage plants look really great. Others look not quite so great. And usually when one of them is, has this much damage, you can find the worm that's been doing the damage. 
Here's one that Grace just pulled off one of the plants. They're almost impossible to see. I'm gonna adopt my worm. You're gonna adopt it? What are you gonna do with it? Um, just adopt it. Just as long as you don't leave it outside, you can bring it inside and play with it. And adopt it. I'm gonna adopt it. You're gonna it. adopt it? Okay. Yeah. Now, what we're doing is just the simplest method, manual control. That means we kill each individual insect. This is the simplest and probably the most labor intensive way to deal with the problem. Your results are really based on the amount of time you're willing to put into it. If we had a larger investment in this little garden space, we would definitely be using another method. A really effective method um, is an organic bacterial based spray, usually known as Bt, and basically you, coat, you dust or you spray the plants with a naturally occurring bacteria and it kills the worms. There's a lot of other possible methods I've read about I've never tried. You could run ducks in your garden space and they might damage some of the smaller plants, but once the plants are more established, they would just eat the worms off the plants. I've read that you can plant tansy in your garden or spray your garden even with tansy oil that will discourage the moths from coming around. For now, we're just gonna stick to killing them as we see them. We don't expect to get a huge harvest, but we will probably get some cabbage and some broccoli. Use two hands, buddy, so you don't fall off. Woohoo! Woohoo! Are you swinging? Shh. Hey! You want to go inside? Are you hungry? Let's go inside, buddy. Come on, let's go. Ah. The baby's going inside, and I'm just gonna do one or two more jobs out here. I went to see my shady grove. She was standing in the door. Shoes and stockings in her hands and little bare feet on the floor. Shady grove, my little love. Oh, shady grove, my darling. Shady grove, my little love. I'm going back to Harlem.